everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really lovely card which has got lots of shine to it because I've been using the Dovecraft mirrored cardstock which I'll share with you in a moment. Basically this one opens up, um, it's a panel fold card so I, I don't know, guess maybe like, I don't know, I just played around with cutting which is what I always seem to do. You can see how it looks from the back there. Um, so yeah, some form of panel for, for, some form of a panel fold card, and it just stands like so. And you can have it even further out. You can have it like that. You can just play around with it. But you can see the profile. That's how you get if it's like that. It looks really nice. Or if you have it slightly further out, then you start to see all of the panels. You can have it that far out. So yeah, you can really play around with it. And again, it's so easy for whoever you give it to. As soon as they get it out, they know that that's you know, how it's gonna stand up. So you've got plenty of room to write on the back. Um, these are always a good style card if you've got maybe um, not very thick cardstock as your card base, because there are so many layers to all of this. There's one with the cardstock, and then you've got another three layers on top of that. So it becomes a real solid card and it stands up really really well so this is using the first edition forever free papers the dovecraft mirrored card stock and these are dovecraft pegs and then the flowers are just from my own stash just from a punch that i've got but i really love how it comes out and like i said this one fits into a five by seven envelope so again mine's got a bit of bulk with the peg but obviously if you haven't got that on there it will post easily so that's that one this is what we're going to use. So this is all the supplies. This is going to hit against my camera now. No, it's not too bad. So these are the pegs, the metallic pegs. So there's the gold, the rose gold, and the silver is somewhere. I can't find the pack, but those are those ones there. Really handy, nice few cards. Then this is the rose gold that I used for the card I've just shared with you there. And then this is the silver, which I'm using today. And these are the A4 premium mirrored cardstock. You get 10 sheets. And again, all of the um, links to that will be in my blog. That's the paper pack, forever free. And I've used the cutouts here as well. So again, it's, you know, I like those paper packs when you've got everything together. So I've already gone ahead and done loads and loads of prep because you don't need to see me do all of this. But this one here is You're the Best on the front of it. And this is using the silver. And just look how great that looks. That's the silver peg. And with the silver flowers, there's just so much shine to it. I hope this picks up well in the photos. So like I said, I've gone ahead. That's the sizes of everything that I'm going to go through with you. And that's all ready done. So to make the main card base, you need a piece of 12 by seven okay we'll go through the scoring in a second i'll just go through all these bits then the mirrored card stock you're going to need two pieces that are two and three quarters by six and three quarters now this is also the same size yeah the same size card stock for the two white pieces on the back so you would then need, need another two pieces in white to go on the back of the card for your message. Okay, so four pieces of that size, two in if you're using mirrored or whatever you're using, and then two in the white. Then to layer on top of that mirror card mat, this is then going down, I'm dropping down in quarter of an inch increments. So that was two and three quarters. This is now two and a half by six and a half, and that will sit perfectly on top there, giving yourself a nice even border. And then drop down again, and you've got six and um sorry two and a quarter by six and a quarter and that's going to go on top of there both of those sizes you'll need two again of each one okay so that's that then to decorate all of those little square panels that we've got you're going to need six pieces of one and three quartered squared then six pieces of one and a half squared and then six pieces of one and a quarter squared. So again, each are dropping down in quarter of an inch increments. So it's all pretty straightforward cutting there. Then to decorate the centerpiece, it's entirely up to you how you want to do this. I've actually covered, you'll see when I do it, but I've covered this rose gold mirror card here, the very back piece, is the whole back piece of that turquoise bit there. You see? So you may not want to, you may want to have a frame like this. So once we get to that, you'll see what I mean. But I've cut mine so that it is the full size. So this is three by five. If you want to drop it down, then you'll want to do, it would be the size to keep it all with the same border. So it'd be two and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then do your kind of mat or your layers, you know, coming down the same. But that's what I've done there. And then the one on top of that was 
would be the one that I said to do before. So four and three quarters by two and three quarters is that pink polka dot. And then this is just one of the pieces that I cut from the paper pack. And again, like I said, with my own flowers. I've also popped it on some foam adhesive. So this one in here is lifted and to the same width of the peg. And again, it just gave it some nice dimension. I've done the same with that piece there. You can see it's just got some foam dimension. So again, just, just gives it a little something. Okay, so that's everything there. So now let's go back to the main piece here. Now, first of all, so with your card facing up, right, because even, you know, all card stocks have a front and a back. Um, if you're not too sure and they look the same, then it doesn't matter. But what you want to do is flip it over first and you want to score at three and nine along the 12 inch side. Okay, then flip it back, and rotate it. And with a ruler, you want to do a score line at two inches between those two score lines that we just done. So just line it up at two inches and make sure that it hits two inches down the very bottom here. Okay, your ruler's gotta be completely lined up. And then just find the kind of track and you'll be able to just score. I've already done it, so I just wanna make sure I'm falling. Yeah, there we go. And you're just scoring within that three and nine inch score line that you've done before. And then you're gonna come along and score at five again in between that three and nine inch score line like so if i just bring it up so you can see there there's those two score lines that i've just done between there you go you can see a bit better between this is my three inch and that's my nine and then there's that score line that just runs in between okay then flip it back round again so you're back along the 12 inch side and you then want to score at five just down to the first score line seven just down to the first score line and then rotate the cardstock all the way around so those two little score lines you've just done are at the bottom and do again five down to the first score line and seven down to the first score line okay so all of your scoring should be done on the top apart from when we flipped over at the beginning your three and nine should be done the other way and that will just help you prevent any cracking because we're going to be folding it two different ways but now you can kind of see how the cards coming together so this is our left panel if i lie this one down here in front you can see what we've got so this panel is there and that panel and then our three squares are these three squares and then this piece here is this larger panel but we're actually going to trim it down a little bit and that's so that we allow it to fit in this size envelope otherwise you may like it bigger and if you're happy to make your own envelopes then that's fine oh, i'm just whacking something over there okay so get rid of the scoreboard and then you want to grab a cutting knife and we're going to cut some bits inside so first of all what you want to do is we're going to cut here we've got our large rectangle in the middle we want to cut from the corner of the rectangle down to the bottom okay so just from here down to here and then here down to here do not cut all the way down this line otherwise the card will just fall apart so just with my ruler i'm going to try and cut out the score line as such because then we're going to be trimming this away even more in a minute but I'm now just going along there just cutting and if I just bring that up you can see where I've just cut through there okay so again I'm going to go along in fact I'm going to rotate it around because I can see the score line better when I've got the ruler on my left and then again very neatly just cut that down okay then what you want to do is from the top left so where we've already now got a cut we're going to continue that cut along to the bottom of the middle square so there's your three squares the middle square the bottom left of that is where you're cutting to just to there then we're going to start our cutting again from the bottom right of that middle square to join that cut that we've done there before. So let me go ahead and do it, because once you see what you're then creating, it will make obviously a lot more sense to you. So again, I'm kind of keeping above the score line, just so it joins up with that cut before. I may mean, just need to help it along a little bit. Okay, so you can see now what I've done, cut that piece out. And then again, I'm just going to join up, and there's that piece there. 
Okay, so again, if I just bring that up, so you can see I've gone from the top of the rectangle where we'd cut anyway, and I've just gone to the bottom left and the bottom right of that inside square. So I've not touched this piece here. Then rotate the whole thing round, and you're going to do exactly the same again. So again, I'm going to cut this one, so, and then this one here. So now we've got this whole piece removed. Now we're going to start doing some folding and then we're going to go and trim this because I'll explain why because like I said some of you may want to choose to keep it there. Now because of the way that we folded this, these first score lines here you're going to fold up, okay, like so. Then these ones are going to go down, so your first score lines were valleys, the next score lines are going to be mountains, then a mountain again and then the last one will be a valley. Okay, so there's your valley, mountain, mountain, valley. All right, now when I fold this down, so that one will go behind and then that one over the top or the other way around, it doesn't matter. You can see you have this style. Now, if you measure that, the width of this at the minute is six by seven. You would have to make your own envelope because in the UK we don't have six by seven envelopes, we have five by seven. So what I've done to make that work for me is I've just taken half an inch off of each side of this piece here. So for example, I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna pop a little cut line there. And again at the bottom, a little cut line. And then I'm just gonna join that up with my ruler and cut it. Now, if you don't want to, and you actually want it nice and big, and you're happy to make your own envelope using the punch board or just by hand, then by all means go for it. it you know, it still looks great. But I'm just gonna cut mine down a little bit just so that I can use all of my pre-made envelopes. So again, just do that one. Okay. So that is the card. And I think it looks so nice. So now when I bring it out, can you see where we've removed those half inch kind of little tabs? But hopefully now it all makes sense and that was pretty straightforward to do. I try and, you know, break it down and keep it as simple as I can. So now it's just the fun part of decorating it with all of those pieces that I told you to cut out. So that one's going to go on last. So for example, you are going to have one of these here and then I've got my ones here, which I haven't done yet because I kept these so I could go through the measurements but I'm going to add those ones to that side. Then I've got my six squares, again if I just lie this down I can kind of then see how it's all going to come together. I love this cerise pink, it looks just so vibrant against that silver and then this is the one again that I just need to build up because that was the one I gave earlier for the measurements. And then this piece covers that whole middle square. May need to trim it a little bit because I've got a little bit of score line showing there, but I can trim that down. But that's how the card is going to finally look. And then I just need to stick those two on the reverse of here. So I'm going to go and get that all stuck down. Okay, so I've stuck down all my mats and layers there. It just looks so nice. I love the way that that mirrored cardstock just shines. It really does change your look of your cards. Um, so yeah, so remember I said when I pop that bit on, the the cerise pink was kind of showing from underneath. All I've done is I've just gone in from the sides here and see, just taken very small little wedges off. So I've just popped my ruler down at an angle, ever such a slight, so there it is straight. Just bring it at a little angle and just with your cutting knife, just, you know, meet up again with the same, you know, with that score line there. Just make sure you don't cut over. If I just bring it up, can you just see where it's just ever so slightly there's little wedges taken out and that just means now when that sits over the top none of the pink underneath kind of you know shows through so I'm now going to just pop the last of my glue on this bit here and then just pop that one over the top and there you have it bring this one up so now you just fold that in look at that isn't that gorgeous Again, it's just so it stands up however you want, whether you want it like that, like that, like that. I just absolutely love this style. And then, depends, you want to fold that one over or that one, it really doesn't matter. But even when it folds down flat, I think it just looks really lovely to that person when they open up the card, um, open the envelope. And again, there's my five by seven envelope already for that to fit in. And I just love them. So that's using the silver with the Forever Free, and this is using the rose gold with again the Forever Free. 
and um, yeah I think they both look stunning I love them love 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 so there you have it two really beautiful in my opinion I think very beautiful cards so I hope you've enjoyed it too if you have please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye